Hey Christian, a very physical game here at St James Park, ending nil nil against Stevenage. Um, what do you make of that game? Well, I think it was a it was a difficult one. I, we obviously were really desperate to win the game, and you could tell obviously that they're in a good position as well. No, neither team wanted to lose it, and uh, as a defender, it's pleasing to get a clean sheet. And we had a couple of chances, but they had some pressure as well from corners and free kicks. So maybe a draw was fair. I don't think we were quite at our best, but we still worked very very hard. We could have won it, but it's just one of those games. Unfortunately, we didn't quite have enough quality, so a draw maybe is a fair result. I mean, Tim's kind of made that point, I suppose, in his post-match interview, is that you don't want to say that you don't really want to say you need, a, you don't want to lose it, and you, if you know what I mean, you, you, of course you wanted to win it, but it, but it is important, isn't it, not not to have lost today's game? Yeah, well, I think we're on a nice little run at the minute, and you can sense that confidence in everyone, and we still think that we're going to win each game, but sometimes you know the, the opposition has their quality as well, and they made it very difficult. They had some good. Um, periods of pressure from set pieces especially and we had to grind that out and they had a few chances but we you know hit the bar we had a few real almost clear cut chances a couple of times so it could have gone either way and it's really disappointing we didn't get the win because we're all craving to get up that table and start chasing that playoffs again but it's just another game down we've still got nine more to go and we're still playing all the top teams so we've still got a chance and we've got a good time to see our side here so you know the confidence is back a little bit I think. And, it, and Stevenage's qualities are quite particular, aren't they? You don't come up against them every week, and even in training, you probably don't get teams that can load the box in and be quite as physical as uh, you know as, as, as they were this afternoon. Yeah, and I think that goes against really how we are and our philosophy. But that's football. You know, sometimes you're going to have that clash of philosophies, and you've got to get on with it. And there was times there we had to battle, and then there was times where we had to show our quality, and we did. But sometimes maybe we could have done a little bit better. And sometimes that's just how it goes. I think a few people are tired. You know, we're playing Saturday, Tuesday. Got another game Saturday, so you know I think probably a bit of fatigue was in the legs as well, which didn't help us. But we move on. We've got another big game Saturday. Hopefully, we'll get another three points to push us back up that table. And you mentioned, of course, already the clean sheet, uh, second one in, in four games after the one we got over at York. And um, as you say, you know, we've got a little nice little sort of uh, partnership going there. With you and Jordan at the back, and, and Aaron's really slotted in well at right back, and, and Connor's obviously come in at left back, and he's only it's only his fifth game tonight as a professional footballer. So um, to kept a clean sheet against a team like. Like Stevenage, who are obviously you know doing so well in the league, it's not, not not a bad return at all. Exactly, and I think we, we work hard on it. All the guys are really really honest players, really good players in their own right, and we try really hard to play together well. And I think we're all covering each other. Any, if anyone makes a mistake, we're encouraging. We're trying to get the best out of each other. And I think the defence has been really good. And long may it continue. You know that includes um, James Hammond in that as well, providing you no know, good saves and good cover. So we just keep working hard. It's defending has always been about a team, and it's a team to defend. And sometimes the thing that would get pointed at the defensive ranks when actually the team's got to do the defending. And I think we've got better at that as a whole unit. Generally, the co connection between the midfield defence and midfield and attackers, we've been getting better and better. Hopefully, that'll stand us in good stead to have a good finish to the season. And whether that gets us to where we want to get to or not, I'm not sure. But at the minute, it's, it's a positive. And of course, at the other end, you know, like, like you said before, you know, we didn't we weren't that far away. Dave hit the bar, and Clinton, you know, was, he was probably a whisker away from, uh, you know, his first goal. The roof would have probably come off when if Clinton, because he's become a bit of a cult hero quite quickly, hasn't he? So yeah, well, he's a top, he's a really, really good player, a really good pro, a really good person, and he's been excellent for us. And he's a really fo big focal point for our team. So I can't speak highly enough of him. And I'm really hoping. Now, I was desperate for him to score that goal. But I'm sure it's just around the corner because he's, he's helping set up so many other opportunities and attacks for everyone else. So, you know, I think everyone here is really desperate for Clinton to get his first goal. And I'm sure it's just around the corner. So it's great to have more and more options. I'm sure Lee Holmes will be a really good acquisition for us. And you know, he hasn't trained with us or anything. He came in today, just came off the bench, did really well. Hopefully, we'll see more and more of him, and he can help us really have a good end to the season.